Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to install and how to install and run Redis on Mac. So without any much delay, let's get started. Um, you can go to redis.io and uh, you can go to uh, the download section of it. And then you can see it's, there's a download option. Just go ahead and click that uh, link and get the, the latest stable version. As soon as it gets downloaded, you can extract the, um, the file. And once you extract, um, you can straight away open your terminal and uh, uh, you can go to the location where I have. So currently I have uh, the Redis folder in my downloads uh, folder. So I'm just going there and from download folder, I'm going to the, I'm going inside the Redis folder. So first thing guys, like we need to run um, the make command, so which, which really it just compiles um, the, the, the distribution into a runnable uh, program. So, so let it, let it compile. Um, Okay, so now the compile process is done. Um, I'm going to run, uh, first I'm gonna start the Redis server and then followed by the Redis client and I'll, I can show you how um, we can run both. So you can now um, type, to start the Redis server, you can type src slash Redis hyphen server. And then now you can see the server is initialized and you're ready to accept the uh, incoming connections. So the server has been started. Uh, now let, let me open another terminal window here and I'm go, what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to run the client and then I'm going to show you how to connect from, from client to the server. So I'm still in the Redis folder. Um, so I'm going to type src slash uh, Redis hyphen CLI. So now you can see like I have connected to the, the local Redis server which I just started now which is running on the, I can show you from the another terminal. Um, the Redis server is running and then on 6379 port and then uh, from here I have connected to the Redis server. So let me check the connectivity uh, by typing ping. You can, as if you are getting the response as Pong, that means your connection is successful. Um, so what we can do is we can um, um, try putting some value inside the Redis. Um, let me type uh, hash it. Um, some hash value with the field as one and value as hello. So now I can, I have in successfully inserted the value. So I'm gonna read the value back just to make sure we have the value successfully stored inside Redis. So yeah, I mean, so I, I could see the hello value has been uh, pulled back from Redis. Um, now to shut down or stop to stop the instance you can type like shutdown and you can issue a command to save whatever you have currently in the in memory will be stored inside the disk so now the collection is closed so now you can see here in the console the server is now re um, uh, ready to exit which is a shutdown and then it also saved the data to the disk so next time when you start the redis instance you'll have all the data whatever you have already stored within um, your redis server so that's it guys, um, uh, if you like this video please give a thumbs up below, um, also please do subscribe to my channel, that really helps me, uh, keep me going to post more new videos, 
um, stay tuned for my next update. Peace.